Hi, this is Emily Bender from Future Plus Systems, and welcome back to our lab. I am here to expand upon the performance counters features found only in the DDR detected by Future Plus Systems. In addition to having a large trace buffer, more than two times the size of a standard logic analyzer trace buffer, the DDR detective contains thousands of counters. This counter architecture allows the tool to overcome the problem that logic analyzers have in general, which is that they can only trace for very short periods of time. By using large counters to count time between events, important performance metrics can be traced for hours. This allows for the characterization of memory controller settings, memory subsystem design, and the characterization of workloads. The DDR Detective is the only tool available that can count these performance metrics in real time, all the time, for every single clock cycle. These performance counters are able to count complex events and the time between events over a range from seconds to days, never missing a single clock edge. By simply selecting DDR4 Performance Counters, DDR Detective loads the performance code into the onboard FPGA and provides a full range of highly accurate and advanced DDR4 performance measurements. By clicking on performance counters in the output pane, the user has nine different analysis modes available along with summary modes and drill down modes. All of the modes allow the user to get a complete and in-depth look at the computer memory operations along with the options for seeing the data in a table or graph format. The first analysis mode is command bus utilization by bank where users can create an easy to view graph on counts per second or percentages. The user can pick any bank group or individual banks as desired along with selection of any or all 10 DDR4 commands as they would like to see. This mode helps verify the user expectations of traffic and can show any potential system hotspots. In addition, infrequent transactions can become quickly noticeable. One can even view if write optimized code is indeed causing more write transactions than read transactions. The second analysis mode is command bus utilization by rank. Similar to the first mode, this mode instead allows the user to view performance measurements by rank along with choosing any of the 24 DDR commands per rank as desired by the user. Like in the previous mode, one can choose the graph to be in counts or percentages. For our next mode, data bus utilization, the user is able to view bandwidth analysis, a key component in analyzing memory performance. This mode shows the contributions by rank and bank and allows for the user to select any of the nine DDR4 commands for data bus utilization. Results are displayed in raw counts or megabytes per second, and the user is again able to select individual banks or bank groups as desired. DDR Detective can track all of the power management related commands. The tool follows the memory in and out of various power management states, tracking all the states and displaying the results in a graph in either counts or percentages, showing when they occur and for how long they occur. Don't forget, the DDR Detective can run for hours, but still allows second-by-second -second tracking for thorough analysis. The next mode is Bank Group Analysis. The performance path is for back-to-back -back transactions to go to different bank groups. If back-to-back -back transactions go to the same bank group, it is a performance penalty. This mode tracks the metric for each possible read-write combination and produces results in counts, percentages of read-write accesses, or percentages of like accesses. Next is Page Hit. This tracks the opening, access, and closing of all pages in the slot that the tool is installed in and produces results in a graph by either counts or percentages. The user is also able to see this metric by bank, bank groups, or ranks. A read hit is a read access where the page was already open, and similarly, a write hit is a write access where the page was already open. This is the performance path. A miss is a read or write access that needed to have the page open prior to the access. Therefore, it is preceded by an activate command. Unused is where the memory controller opened a page that closed it, but there was no intervening read or write access. DDR Detective also comes with an open banks mode to track how many banks are open simultaneously and for how long per second for every single bank that is being examined. The user is able to view graphs and counts or percent of total clocks. This is important information to the user, as open banks burn power and power consumption plays a vital role for today's systems. While many open banks are great for performance, they are bad for power management. Understanding the trade-offs can give software engineers and system designers insight into how to lower power consumption and increase performance. Bank utilization mode allows for the user to select individual banks or bank groups as desired and creates a graph in either counts or percentages showing how long each bank is open for each second. This is different from the previous mode of open banks, which allows the user to see how many banks are simultaneously open at any given moment. This mode, however, tells how long each individual bank is open. 
Bank utilization is useful to detect system hotspots such as row hammer event or to study how the memory traffic reallocates due to page retirement or chip kill scenarios. The final analysis mode provided by the DDR detective is bus mode analysis. This mode is helpful in tracking a system boot, and by understanding this, the user can identify problems such as why a system is not booting or lead to optimization of the system to have faster boot times. The memory goes through a complex process as it boots, and the DDR4 performance counter makes this information easily viewable to the user in a graph with counts or percentages. The final modes provided by the DDR detective are the summary and drill down modes, which places all information found through analysis into one easy to read screen. These modes differ from the previous modes that have second by second tracking because they can condense results found from analysis into one timeline, ranging from minutes to hours of detailed information. This near continuous trace is found only with the DDR detective and provides users with analysis that has never been done before. Entire system benchmarks can be run and memory performance of the system can be thoroughly analyzed. Well that's all for my overview on the DDR Detective's DDR4 performance counters. To summarize, the DDR Detective comes with the ability to see detailed memory performance and power management analysis. The nine analysis modes allow the user to view many aspects of memory performance of their system, helping them pinpoint any potential hotspots as they appear. Also provided are summary and drill down modes that help condense information found by the analysis modes into one timeline so that optimization to a more efficient system can be achieved. Thank you for joining us today for this overview of the DDR Detective DDR4 performance counters. For more information, you can contact us at protocol.decode at futureplus.com. If you would like to view more information on the DDR Detective product, you can visit our website www.ddrdetective.com or visit our main product website www.futureplus.com. And we'll see you next time in the lab.